Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Space Engineers. I am your host, Renovate, the Anxiety Gamer. And, uh, guys, I haven't recorded a Space Engineers episode in probably three weeks. I think it's been... You can check the last episode when I logged... Why is it so free? Oh, yeah, I'm going to press my flashlight button. You can check and see when the last time it was that we recorded, but it was a long, long time ago. And uh, to be honest with you, I actually just got done recording, and I got to turn my jetpack on. And... Um, I just didn't like the way that it turned out, and it was just a bunch of mumbo jumbo crap. And let's shut the door here. There we go. And let's open this door. So I don't remember what we did last episode. Actually, I think we got our base all set up, and uh, it's it's up and running. But what I just recorded a while ago was, if you look right there, that's Tower North. That's our tower. That's our base that we set up on this icy moon. And our base, this base here, was actually on the complete opposite side. And that's why I could never find where I landed. And so I went down there and got it. Well, I didn't get it. But I went down there, and I forgot to turn the antenna on. So the antenna is on now. And our ship, our little spaceship, is down there. And I brought our mining ship up here. And it's just the, the whole episode that I was recording looked like crap. So I'm going to show it to you in like a split second. All I did, just watch really fast. And you can see we actually moved this whole entire structure from one side of the moon to the other using our spaceship. And it was kind of cool, but it was kind of freaky. And here's what it looks like. Okay, <laughs> it's always cool to watch it really fast. Okay, so uh, what we need to do on this one, on this episode, is I'm going to set up Tim. This might not be a very long episode. That's not even connected, but that's kind of cool too. Um, it's not going to be a very long episode, I don't think. We'll find out when I edit it. It might even be a long episode. I don't know. But it's going to be a multi-part because I'm not going to be able to do all this at the same time. But we're going to set up Tim because I want to start mining and I want to start putting stuff in these cargo containers and those cargo containers over there and stuff in the basement and I don't remember how to land is it how do you land is it S no C C is land <laughs> I've been playing so many game different games okay let's uh, turn the jetpack off and use our gravity boots let's pro oh, no how do we uh, interact with the door F there we go so we're gonna go in here I don't know if I got any materials in here is the thing but we do have air. That's good. So we can probably take our, our oxygen mask off. No, we don't have any air. Well, that's awesome. Probably because we don't have any ice. Um, so, yeah, we're going to set up Tim. And we need to make two blocks real quick. Let me get my notes out because I had to take a bunch of notes. Here's the paper. Okay. So we need to make two blocks. We need to make a programmer block and a timer block. 
And let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's let's just head back to our other ship because I know I have all the components on the other ship. Go in here, in there. Shut that. Open that revolving door. Shut that door. And where'd we park our ship? I don't remember where we parked our ship. I think it's over here. Nope. Oh, there it is over there. All right. Let's go back to our ship. And let's get in. So, yeah, I haven't played in a while. Um, I got to get back into the control things. Uh, I've been playing a lot of player unknown battlegrounds. And can I turn this? There we go. And I've been playing a lot of Minecraft. And I'm trying to set up something really cool for you guys coming up. But it's going to take me a little bit of time. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But you'll see soon. Why is our reactor off? Huh. Let's check. Let's go in here. Let's go to inventory. Let's go into uh, reactor. Cargo container. Uh, where's our reactor at? Am I just not seeing it? Uh, and that's the different one. Let's go back up here. Is it the very first one? No. Nope. Turret. Cryo chamber. Oxygen. Cryo chamber. Connector. Oxygen. Control. Oxygen. <laughs> Refinery. Uh, where's our reactor? What the frack? Um, here, let's just go. Turn this on. Let's go in. Here, we have no, we have no uranium or no, yeah, uranium. Um, well, looks like our batteries are pretty much filled though. See, so we're not gonna run into any problems. So here's what we need to do. We're going to go in, into the assembler. Let's make sure this thing's on first. Assembler and assembler and it is on. Okay. And we are going to go to production and we're going to go to uh, components. No, large blocks, large blocks. Okay. Let's find a programmer block. I think they're in alphabetic order. So it'll be down here in like P's. And blast doors. These are. Uh, uh, maybe they're not in alphabetic order. Uh, camera. Uh, can I do a search? Assembler. Battery. Uh, is it a small block? Maybe it's a small block. I don't know. Components. It's not a component. It's got to be one of these. Maybe it's way down here at the bottom. Yeah, it probably is. One of these things. Uh, remote control. And hydrogen, uh, oh, 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 we're getting close. There it is, programmer block. All right, so we need to make all this stuff. So it's going to make all the components for us, and then we'll just pull the components out. And I don't know if I can't, sh yeah, I can't shift click them from here. And then we also need to make a timer block. So let's scroll down here a little bit and try to find a block called a timer block. And uh, it's going to be probably down here. Is that it? Yep. Timer block. All right. Cool. So let's make all that stuff. And good. So do we have our tools on us? Yes, we do. So let's go in. Uh, let's go over here. Let's get in here. Let's go in inventory. And we need the stuff out of the assembler. Let's scroll down here. We need all this stuff. Hopefully we can carry it all. Yes, we can. Awesome. All right, cool. So that's the stuff that we need for that. So let's go over to our other base of operations. Now, the way to move a large ship in the sky, like our base that we made, um, if you remember, I don't know if I did this on video, but I actually had to change it to a... Uh, it was a station. I had to change it to a ship. That way, this thing could pull this thing. Otherwise, it... When you change something to a station, it's stationary. Um, that's the name station. And um, let's do this. Whoops. I don't know why. Oh, my God. I'm clicking all kinds of buttons. Um, so, yeah, you have to change it to a ship, and then you pull it. But it took all I had to pull it. So let's go in here. we got to watch our oxygen levels. All right. So, you know what, guys? Let me... Uh, I need to... All right, guys, sorry about that. I just, I got a new Yeti mic, okay? And I used to use a headset at Turtle Beach. 
and for whatever reason I just uh, I thought that I could get a clear sound I wanted a clear sound uh, without having to do the whole you know uh, spongy shit on the walls and stuff behind you and all that stuff but I don't know I just do not like this mic so if the sound sounds funny in this episode especially in this segment because I just changed the setting from what we just got done doing so I don't know you guys let me know first half of the episode second half of the episode I don't know or I'll just go back to my headset we'll figure it out all right anyways we got to make these two blocks so first thing we're gonna make is the timer blocks we need to go into the assembler and click on this and let's go to production and actually you know what we need to put all this stuff in the assembler all right and then actually no we don't <laughs> I'm so stupid we just need to make the block so where are we gonna put this thing let's put it um, let's put it back let's put one here and one here I already got a block there all right let's put it let's put it down here our control panel actually you know what let's put it in the basement We'll put it down here. Where it's creepy. Why are none of my batteries charged? What the frick? What are they set on? Uh, let's press I. Control panel. Batteries. They're set to recharge. What? Let's look at them. Here they are. We have three days of battery power, but they're not showing up. It's weird. All right, well, whatever. Uh, let's jump off of this bad boy. Yeah, now they're on. That's weird. All right. Um, okay, so let's put these programmable blocks in this other thing over here. So the first thing we need to do is make the programmable blocks. Let's go into G. Let's type in program. Uh, here's our program block. We'll put that there. And then the next thing we need is the Tizimer block. Also, now I know it's the timer block. I want to put that there. All right. So we're going to put, let's put number six. And you need to rotate. How do you rotate stuff? I forget. It's been a while. There we go. All right. So we want it to face this way. That's good. And then we need our number seven, which is our timer block. And that is it there just like so all right oh no how do you exit out of this okay um and so then we need to get our number one button and we're gonna weld this up and we're gonna weld that up all right those two things are welded they have power so the first thing we're gonna do is go into the programmer block so we're gonna press this okay this is your programmer block this is what the the program is gonna be set to right now it says Ownership of a programmable block changed. I don't know why. So it should be set to me. It is. Uh, but we need to make sure that... Uh, I think we got to make sure everything is set to me, but it should be. So let me check real quick. Yes, it is. Everything's set to me. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to go into this programmable block. Actually, let's go into the timer block. Let's make sure everything... Uh, we're going to set this delay to 5, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. So that one's just set to me, too. All right, well, let's go back to programmable block. All right, so we're going to go into this thing, make sure it's owned by us. Then we're going to go to edit right here. Cool. Then we're going to go to uh, browse workshop. There we go. And we got this right here. So these, this is what we want to put in there. So we're going to click on Tim's inventory manager, and then we're going to click on OK. Bam. All right, so that's the whole entire code for Tim's inventory manager. We're not going to change anything. We're just going to leave it the way it is. All right, and then we're going to click on uh, check code, I think. Yep, check code, and it's going to compilation successful, so that means I guess everything's okay. A okay. All right, cool. So after we're going to do that, we're going to click remember and exit. Remember and exit. Bam. All right, so then we're going to click right here. Now, if you watch right here, when we click run, uh, it should say something about the, the whole entire thing. So there it goes. Uh, last run completed uh, Taladin's inventory manager. Awesome. So that is set up. That's all you have to do to install Tim into your program. Then we're going to go to the timer block. Switch paper notes. 
we're going to go into the timer block. We're going to click on this little button right here. If we're going to go down here to set up actions. All right. We need to, uh, <laughs> we need to grab the programmable block. So we need to find the programmable block and it is I'm not seeing it right here Tim we're gonna put it down here and we're gonna click run all right and there's no argument I don't know maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do let's grab it again let's try again uh, programmable lock down here uh, run with default argument yes that's what we want to do okay um, cause it, it already has a, a, a code associated with it. So we don't want to change anything. Okay. Uh, and then we want to grab the timer block and it's probably like down here too. We're going to put this down here and we're going to click on start timer. I think let's click on start timer. We don't want to start it. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Start timer just like that. Okay. So that should be it. That should be all that we do. Then we go into here. And we're going to click the delay. Now, the delay is how many uh, seconds it does between operations. So every five seconds, it's going to check. It's going to run Tim and make sure everything is where it should be according to where you put it, where you wanted it to go. Um, if you set it to one second, it's basically going to do it constantly. Our server had a little bit of problem. Uh, I think Link set this up and we he, he left it on. It's not a problem. But you could actually see that the server was having a hard time because the server runs even when you're not on. So everything is loaded on the server. So the game is always running in the background. So Tim was constantly running in the background, constantly trying to find stuff. And when the server does that, it just slows down the server. So we're going to set ours to five just to show you. Actually, we could probably set it to like three or something just for this episode, which I might do. So we're going to put it on five right now. But then you're going to click on start. And over here on the, on the side, it's going to do five seconds. And I guess it's done. So, <laughs> I don't know. Let's check this. Uh, last run. Is it is it done? Yep, there it goes. So, it's doing it every five seconds. Okay, so you can see last run number four. Last number five. So it is doing, it's completed three milliseconds, 3% load time, blah, blah, blah. All right, so it's activated, all right? I thought this thing stays green, and I thought it made a noise, but maybe it doesn't. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to go over to our cargo containers. All right, first thing we want to do is uh, go to one of your cargo containers, and we're going to pick our first one right here. So we're going to get up here, and we're going to click on this, and... This thing, I, I was trying to uh, fix the names on these so this doesn't have a name. So we're going to name this one Cargo. We're going to do the square bracket. So square bracket. I'm going to type in Tim. And then we're going to make this first one, we're going to hold it on ice. Now if you watch up at the top, uh, right where the, I'll show it right here. Watch the way that the Tim is written when I type this in. If I put this and then hit that next bracket, you'll notice that it changed. Okay, So that means it's working it automatically fixes the name uh, this will automatically change the the way that this is done and that's how you know if it's working so we're gonna click we're gonna say okay so this one's done all right so that one's that so we're gonna go over here I need to get some oxygen actually you know what let's go let's fly down here like okay let's get some oxygen Uh oh. <laughs> Somebody doesn't have any oxygen. <laughs> uh, let's see if our oxygen level goes up like this. We gotta have some oxygen because the ship's got oxygen. So let's go in here. And let's go to inventory. I have hydrogen, hydrogen, no oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Oh my god, really? I have all hydrogen bottles. Uh, 
oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. All right, so now we have oxygen. Jeez whiz. All right. I grabbed all the hydrogen bottles instead of oxygen bottles. And that's... I. Uh, a couple uh, months ago, they changed the uh, blocks, the graphic blocks, or the graphics on the blocks. And now the hydrogen bottles and oxygen bottles look identical. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change this one to all or. Okay. So we're going to go over here. Let's turn off our boot or our jetpack. We're going to go into this in this large container and number seven. We're going to change this one to cargo. Go down here. We're going to change that. We're going to change this cargo. And we're going to name this one wrong way. Tim or not time Tim or now you'll notice up at the top again it should change it for us boom so that means that this one every time we bring or back to the planet or back to our ship it's gonna put it all in this container okay so this one put our gravity boots on and walk kind of funny on stuff doop, doop, doop. okay so we need to turn around this one we're gonna cha change this one to components so we're going to go over here. We'll keep cart. What the frick is going on? All right, let's do this. Eh, okay, there we go. So let's go down here. Let's change this one to cargo. And then we're going to type in the square one, Tim. And then, or not war. We're going to do this. Now, if you notice, if I do come and I do this, it's probably not, it does do. So, but I don't think it understands what com is because you have components, computers. So we're gonna type in, and it, it used to, uh, I know that it's changed, it used to, if you did this, if I do compone and I do this, it used to automatically fix the name up at the top. There you go, okay. So now it knows that you're talking about components. So this one's gonna hold uh, components all the time okay so we have ice or components now what could we put in this one hmm let's see we have ice ores components and I don't know what we could put in this one actually our ore is going to go into here this one would be our I guess we could put ingots uh, let's type in something. Let's look in our inventory. Um, I guess we could do ingots. Let's do this. Let's type in this. I think ingots is a thing. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's type in. Let's go over here. Let's type that. And then let's go over here. And let's do Tim. And let's try ingots. And let's see... If that's a thing, give it a chance to run because you remember it's all in five seconds. Yep, it is. Cool. So that's going to hold all our ingots. So now we have everything that we need. So now if I go into this, and I don't know if I have access into this. Thing. Actually, you know what? Let's go into our ship. Uh-oh. Ooh, a mining carriage. Oh, wow. That's cool. And he's getting pretty close to us. We'll have to watch that. We do have defenses, so I'm not worried about it. So let's go into here. And let's grab... Let's go into here. And let's see. Let's grab, uh, like, one of each. So let's go in our inventory. Let's grab... Let's go down here. Let's grab, uh, let's just say, we'll grab a bunch of power cells. And those are really heavy. So let's grab a bunch of metal grids. Like, not all of them. Let's just grab, like, a half of them. Um, that's still a lot. Let's do, uh, let's just say, let's put 100 back and keep 50. Okay, so we got that. Let's grab some ingots. Let's grab, like, 1,000, right? And then we need some ore. So let's, do we have any? We probably don't have any ore because it's already been refined. Uh, we do have 19. I only have 19 uranium left, and that's what's on the other. On the other, there's some ore right there. Oh, I can't grab it. It's in the cockpit. It's not gonna let me. Um, 
yeah crap i'll have to get that out of the cockpit of the, of the other thing so that's components or and then our, our ingots so let's go get he's getting all close isn't he the bad thing is the bad thing is my fighter ship is down on the icy planet so if he gets any closer to us but this thing right here is fully loaded and the thing on this is fully loaded so i'm not too too afraid about that okay let's get into this thing like so let's go inventory let's grab this out all right so now we have everything that we need let's get out of here now if we went over here and got into our into our ship oh crap oh my god all these buttons press f to get open the door press f to shut the doors but you got to get in first and then i went over here and let's just say this is the conveyor you know what we didn't build we didn't build um a cargo container in this so we didn't put anything in that last cargo container remember we didn't name it oh we did we did we named it ingots poop um all right that should be okay if i just go into the refinery actually you know what we do need a, a cargo container just an empty one so let me make one real quick all right so we got that thing made i forgot to change the color though but that's okay so if i go into here and i go into inventory that's our small container if i drop these in here it should if all things work within five seconds it should pull it out and take it over to the other place so let's find out and see if it does let's watch boom okay that's a good sign so now we're going to go over here press f f so this one here it won't have any ice in it because we didn't do any ice and this one i think was our ores so let's check this there we go it's got our ores in it this one should have our component oh it pulled all the components out oh wow so it pulled all the components out of our our of our uh of our big spaceship that's awesome and this one probably pulled all the ingots out of the big spaceship oops i forgot to i did the wrong one and it did awesome all right so it pulled them all out of our big ship so it's actually pulling everything so i didn't need even need to do that which is great so it pulled everything out of there and it put it in here the only thing we need now is ice so i'm gonna have to take this down and get some ice but um i'm probably gonna do that in between episodes next episode guys we're gonna do the led or led the lcd screens it's gonna tell us what actually do we have and we're probably gonna put them out here on the outside because uh and we'll probably do both we could probably put one like on each one of these just so it shows and then we'll have a big one inside and then we can watch like the super bowl and everything from inside there so yeah guys this has been uh, an exciting episode for me i haven't recorded in a while i don't know what number it is actually so i'm not even gonna say what number it is and uh make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure if you're new to the channel you always hit that like button as well it just lets me know that i'm doing stuff that's good and um that's kind of scared me <laughs> big ball above my head um and uh make sure you watch all the other series guys got skylines going on it's kind of fun make sure you uh if you if you like that kind of game make sure you watch it and interact with it um i'm letting you guys decide what i do next and building the little city of oakwood and i got something pretty exciting coming up here pretty soon um it's it's gonna be i hope hopefully it's gonna be pretty cool it's gonna be a server i'm setting up for uh some people to play on and uh just to be like a little close-knit anxiety related um type thing for people just to come together and help each other if they can or just talk so um be looking for that and but until next time guys i'll see you i hope you enjoyed the episode Bye bye